Hi everyone, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Um, so this is going to be a video kind of a little bit different from most of my others. So most of the videos I make are like technical tutorials on um, like computer programming for doing different kinds of like computational biology models. But this is going to be more of like a general like grad school advice video, like a, a non-technical video that's still something that I've learned um, in grad school that I think is kind of important uh, for like other grad students to know about. So this is going to be about research conferences and kind of which conferences are good to submit to and which ones are what's called predatory conferences and kind of what that even means. Um, so I'll just I'll just start with the basics here um, with just some advice. So I think if, if you're a grad student, whether like PhD or master's or really even an undergrad doing research, um, it can be like a cool and uh, fun and rewarding thing to do to um, submit papers to research conferences. The idea with that is that if you if you've done like a research project that's not quite good enough for a uh, journal publication, it's not quite like good and comprehensive enough to submit to an actual research journal, but you have completed some um, like good original research that you want to share with other researchers, you can submit what's called a conference paper um, to a research conference. So conference papers are um, shorter than journal papers, um, but they are still worthwhile to do. It's still something that it's still it's still a publication, even though it's not as prestigious as a journal publication, is technically a publication, and you can put it on your uh, CV, put it on your resume, and it's also fun to go to. The, the conferences are, are pretty fun. You can go and like meet with other researchers and uh, give a talk on your presentation, uh, I mean, sorry, on your research if, you're, uh, if your paper gets accepted. And yeah, it's kind of like a fun and like rewarding thing to do, but what I noticed as a grad student is finding conferences to submit to like isn't always completely straightforward because there is this thing called predatory conferences, which I'm going to try to like maybe explain explain what I mean here. So let's just say that you have you've completed like a research project that um, you want to try to like write a write a short paper on it and submit it to a conference so that you can uh, have a paper and um, present it to other researchers. So you say, okay, I'll just I'll just search for bioinformatics conferences. Um, okay, and then you think, great, like there is this website, uh, cool, like nice, convenient website that has all these um, all these like good conferences to check out. So let's see. And then you see, like, wow, there's really um, a ton of these conferences uh, all over all over the world. Um, so many of them, really. There's just a, a ton of possibilities to, to submit to, right? Um, this is what I was thinking when I was, like, um, in the first year of the program. I was thinking, like, wow, these are all so many cool um, conferences to submit to. Um, the thing is, basically all of these, all of these conferences listed here, and there's really a lot of them, basically all of these are what's called predatory conferences. So what do I mean here? So let's just, let's say we just click on one to see... Um, see some info about it. So the red flag here about um, this conference and like all the ones on that list is this organization, World Academy of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Um, sounds like a like legit um, organization, right? I mean, it sounds like something like a, uh, like a science organization would sound like. But um, when we Google this here, yeah, you guys will see what I mean. Um, they actually have a Wikipedia page, and it says they're a predatory publisher of open access journals. So yeah, this is what's called a, uh, a predatory journal. And um, yeah, so so if you look into this, um, yeah, this is kind of, like all of these conferences are kind of fake, and I don't even really understand um, so the, the extent of the fakeness, I don't know if there's even like a physical event that people attend at all, but these are basically fake conferences that you can, you can kind of pay to, um, like get your, get your paper accepted with like almost no bar at all. And like, no, like serious peer review. Um, you can just pay to like, kind of get it accepted at this like fake conference to like artificially pad your resume um, and hope that no one notices. And then what they get on their end is they just get your money. You know what I mean? Because it does cost money to do this, 
So um, it's basically this like it's kind of scam where if you're like not really a legit scientist, you can just like pay this organization to um, get your like paper accepted at one of these like fake conferences. And then, um, and then they get your money in return for that. I don't know the extent of it. I, I'm a bit confused. I don't know if there's even any like event in person at all. But you can see that there, these are like there's like a crazy amount of these conferences, even just on the exact same date. You know what I mean? So that's already kind of like a red flag. Some of these are conferences on the same date, even in the same um, location, even. So, but yeah, these these are all like predatory um, fake conferences that you guys should avoid. Um, it's really just, it's just kind of a scam. Um, but then the question is, um, how do you find good conferences that are like actually legit research conferences where you should be um, submitting papers to? And my advice for that is to um, kind of have like an organization in mind that's like a legit um, a legit like science research organization and check their um, list of conferences like to see what are some good ones. So just an example, I think a, a really good organization that, that does have like legit research research conferences is this thing called um, IEEE. So IEEE is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. But even though they're called this, they have research conferences for other things besides electrical engineering. They do have conferences for like bioinformatics and systems biology and computational biology and stuff like that. So even though they're called, it, it's called like electrical and electronics engineers, even for the stuff that I'm making videos on like um, computational biology, they do have um, good conferences for that. I've actually, I've been to one of them before. Um, it was a lot of fun, had, had a really good time there. And yeah, this is actually like a legit, um, like non-predatory um, science organization. So what I'd recommend for finding um, research conference conferences is, yeah, it, even Google's like rec recommending it. You can check their um, their conference list here. They should have a, a calendar. Yeah, if you go on this website here, this is actually where you can find, yeah, like the legit research conferences. Yeah, like these ones here. Um, see, you can even see that the name sounds similar to the predatory ones. Like the predatory ones, all these ones... Um, Oh, actually, this is a real one here. Like this, this list is like mostly, mostly predatory, but this is actually one of the real ones here. Um, but yeah, all the, like most of these, probably ninety percent of them are these. Um, this like uh, waset.org um, predatory ones. But yeah, these ones here, um, these are the legit ones. If you see IEEE, that's um, one of the legit ones. It's like a, a real um, research organization. So yeah, these are all some like cool conferences. Um, if you're a grad student, I'd recommend like checking out the list, maybe find one that is related to your kind of uh, your kind of research. Um, they're a lot of fun. Your paper does have to be kind of good. It, it does have to be like a solid research paper. Like it, it will have to go through peer review and it can be accepted or rejected and different conferences have like different acceptance rates. Um, but that's what separates it from like the predatory ones is it does actually have peer review and it is like a legit conference where you do have to have like a decent, like solid research paper. But the bar is lower than for a actual journal publication. Um, it doesn't have to be as long or comprehensive as a journal paper. So if you have some kind of research project that you think is like not quite solid enough for a journal, but, um, but it is like some solid research that you do want to present to uh, other researchers, I would recommend checking out these conferences. Um, they can be like fun to attend and good to uh, put on your CV, and then you can get a, um, a, a paper out of it to uh, yeah, put on your CV. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys for this video, just some like general uh, grad school advice for doing research. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.